my prof Robin wanted us to do a documentary on a place that meant a lot to us and what means more to a person than their hometown. So I did mine on the Sunshine Coast in Gibsons, which is where I grew up. And I did it from the perspective of people who actually made the decision to move there versus from the position of someone who has grown up there their whole lives. The process was pretty smooth actually because I know so many people because it's such a small town that finding everyone to do the interviews was really easy because my parents and all of their friends actually made the decision to move there themselves so it was really easy to find people. And then the B-roll, it's so easy to find beautiful places there that are like full of nature and it was, it was great, it was really easy and smooth. Before digital media studies, I was always really interested in film and this has kind of just expanded my knowledge. And uh, there's so many different aspects to digital media, like there's the audio, the video, there's web design and animation and all that kind of stuff. And just learning all about it and putting it all together and, to make, and making, being creative with it is just really great and I love it a lot. If you haven't decided what you want to do in university yet or you just want to expand your knowledge on in video or you just love being creative, I would definitely endorse the Digital Media Studies program. It's a great program. visited in the 80s. My uh, father had bought a sailboat and we came and visited by sea, uh, but I moved here in 94 um, and became a per permanent resident then. I think it must be 22 years ago now uh, when I came to the Sunshine Coast. Uh, I guess uh, it was my wife. That was the reason I came. I was wandering up the coast on a sailboat and uh, stopped to talk with her in Deep Cove while the storms were getting uh, cleared up and she happened to have a piece of property up here and that's how I arrived here. We went up and had a look at it and I said, well, I've designed a lot of houses in my life and built some and so we looked at the piece of property, I designed something. We put it together and uh, she worked for a couple more years in Vancouver while I stayed up here and built our place and so I, I only saw it just before we decided to actually be here. I came out about over 27 years ago now, landed in West Vancouver and my sister told me about a place called the Sunshine Coast, just one ferry ride away. So I ended up staying a month instead of two weeks, went back to Ontario, spent another week there at my old job, and then I decided I had to go back. Moved back to the Sunshine Coast, and I've been here ever since. first impression was kind of overwhelming. Uh, I'm from Ontario, so it's pretty kind of smoggy, kind of heavy air. I first landed here and it was the first thing I noticed was the difference in how I breathe. And then the ride from the airport out here to the coast was, I was like a kid again, looking around at everything I could see because I'd never been close to the ocean. So yeah, uh, as soon as I got into Seashell, the first thing I did, I left where I was, took a walk down to the ocean, took off my shoes and put my feet in the ocean. It was pretty cool. great intrigue about moving here. Um, I had heard about the draft dodgers coming here in the 60s and thought that that was really intriguing. Um, lots of artists and uh, just kind of a, a neat counterculture environment. Um, and the weed was pretty good. <laughs> and uh, I wanted to meet somebody. 
and uh, actually did about 10 minutes after getting out of the car. <laughs> the nicest part is you can get in and out of the Sunshine Coast and to Vancouver easily and yet this is a protected area up here, a special spot. We don't like anybody else to know about it. Well, once you're here, you just have to take one look around. Between the oceans, the mountains, and mostly the people. The small town atmosphere. I think I was looking for an alternative lifestyle. I was born and raised on the west side of Vancouver. And in the summers, I did a lot of getting away, working on fishing boats, hanging out on the coast. Lots of friends had summer places up this way. And I decided I wanted to trade in the shoulder pads and the high heels for the Doc Martens and the horses, and that's kind of what won out, and that's why I'm still here. Along with the with the area, the environment, it's a beautiful place. It's pristine. It's it's. It's different than most other places, but the people are different than what I'm used to. You get your odd mix of people that are, yeah, what well, you'll find anywhere, but on the whole, people are friendly. Uh, you can walk by people on the sidewalk and they'll say good morning, they'll say hello. You don't get that everywhere else. Back home, I didn't get it so much. Uh, I made trips back to Ontario after moving here and walk down the street and say hi to people down the street and people still kind of go, oh, what are you doing? So it's, it's a different kind of a place here. Uh, everything stays green, the trees are monstrous, the ocean can be furious and calm, and it's just, it's incredible. It's an ever-changing view out there.